Okay, let's start with our warm up. We're going to start off with running in place. Let's angle this down a little bit so you see more feet and less ceiling. And punches. Keep your hands up. Keep your feet moving. Last week. Hands up, hands up, feet moving. And shuffle forward and back. Make sure when you do this, your hands are up. <clears throat> you don't want to get in the habit of doing anything in class with your hands down. And knees. Make sure the standing knee stays bent. Switch sides. And ladder steps. Kicks, front side back. Okay, check your pulse. If you're not up to at least 120, do that set, do that two more times, do that set. Running in place, punches, shuffle back and forth, knees, ladder steps and kicks. At least two times, probably three. You need to get your heart rate up over 120. Okay, once you've done that, you come back to me, we stretch. Reach up. Reach straight out to the front. Chin is up here, back is flat. Not rounded this way. It's flat, you're pushing your chest toward the floor. Reach for the floor. Over to one side, grab your ankle, pull your chest toward your knee. Now we're going to side stretch. Turn, stretch your hip flexor. Come to the center, toes straight forward, push your knees up. Other side, grab your ankle. Down into side stretch. Turn, stretch your hip flexor. Come up, cross one foot in front of the other. Here, 
chin up, reach for the floor. You should feel this in the hamstring, mostly of your back leg. Switch your feet. And then have a seat. Feet out. Make sure your toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. Keep both butt cheeks on the floor. Reach over to one side. So I'm not facing my knee. My ribs are coming down towards my knee. Other side. And straight out to the front. Make sure your toes and your chin stay up. Pull your feet in. Come to a squat. Push your knees out. Rock back and forth. Heels should be on the floor here. Put your hands down. Straighten out your legs. And then walk your feet a little bit apart if you need to. Put your hands on the floor. You gotta tuck your chin around your back and then lift your chin and push your chest to the floor. So tuck and round. And then chin up, chest to the floor. Tuck and round. Chin up, chest to the floor. And up. Okay, so we're gonna do conditioning. Um, I'm gonna go through this series once because you don't need to sit here for 15 minutes and watch me do push-ups. I explain to you what each exercise is. I'll show them to you and then I'd like you to run through the set at least twice, three times would be better. Okay, first one is inchworm push-ups. So when you do an inchworm push-up, you start here, you reach down and you put your hands on the floor. Knees are straight. You walk your hands out. Okay. You can do your push up on your toes or on your knees. Keep your elbows tucked into your body when you do your push up. Don't leave them out there. Keep them tucked in here so your elbows are close. Your middle finger should be pointed straight ahead. Okay, so we start here. Hands down. Walk them out. Push up position. Middle finger straight forward. Elbows are tucked into my body. Push up. And then walk all the way back up. And stand up. And again. Okay, that's called an inchworm push up. Save it for a minute. Next thing we're going to do is just a complete straight body sit up. I'm going to start here. Feet are straight out. My chin is tucked, so my head's not touching the floor, and my hands are straight up. Hands are not coming behind me. They're staying towards the ceiling the whole time. I just sit straight up. And I don't just sit here, but when I get here, I reach up to the ceiling and back down. Okay, so there's your core, and we have one more drill for lower body. We're going to do squat and lunge. So when you squat, you step out, feet are more than shoulder width apart. My toes are straight forward. When I do my squat, you don't want to be here. You want to be here so your shoulders stay over your hips. Now when you do your lunge, you step back far enough that this knee is still at a 90 degree angle. You don't want it out past your toes like that. That stresses your knee. So we do squat and lunge. Squat and lunge. Squat and lunge. Squat and lunge. Okay, so you have inchworm push-ups, you have the straight body sit-ups, and you have squat and lunge. I want you to do 10 of each two times through, and then when you come back, we'll work on the we'll work on the lesson for the week. Okay, so now you should have done your 
warm up, your stretching, your conditioning. We're back for the lesson. This is cycle four, uh, sorry, cycle three for 2020. I know it's the first month of 2021, but we're finishing up what we started in 2020. It's month four, so the end of this month is graduations, and it is week two. So this whole month we're talking about power. This week we're talking about generating power through backup mass, which is using your body weight to aid in what you're doing. So when I throw, we're gonna, so we're gonna do a few techniques and we're gonna talk about where the backup mass comes from. The first one we're gonna talk about is a descending back fist. So when you do back fist, you're hitting with the back of your fist. Normally we do it standing here. Last week we did this and we talked about rotation, rotation coming from your shoulder, your elbow, and your hip. This week we're gonna be changing the angle of it and the power is gonna come from the backup mass. So I'm gonna start here. My hands are gonna chamber here in front of me. The one that's gonna be striking is on the inside. I'm gonna step behind to bust I toss you across stance and drop my weight. So my target for this would be either the bridge of the nose, the collarbone, or the solar plexus. Now somebody who's the same high design. So we're gonna throw 10. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll do ten on the other side. You don't want to go step, settle, strike. Then you're wasting, you're wasting the gravity. I want to come here, step, and as I settle my weight, there's the strike. Two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, save that because I'm going to ask you to do something again with it a little bit. Um, the next one that we're going to do is a reinforced low block. I'm going to, I'm going to do the same thing here where I'm stepping forward into a cross stance. So I step in, I drop my weight. Couple of options for your hands here. You're blocking a knee coming up at you. Um, we do this in Chilsung Samro. We do it with the front stance in some of the pings. It's, in, it's at the end of star block set. So you can either put your hands this way, so you're blocking in here, or you can put them this way so they're blocking with the back of your knuckles. Either one works, but you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna step forward, drop into your cross stance, and block one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll do it in the other hand position. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, next technique. Um, this is, if you're a Tungsudo black belt, this is from Jinte. If you're in the Tungsudo class at all, this is in Il Six Sude run number three. I'm gonna throw a rear elbow. So when I hit something with an elbow, I'm not hitting with the tip of my elbow, I'm hitting either with this muscle or this muscle. In this case, it's a rear elbow, so I'm hitting with this muscle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here, and I'm actually rotating. My hips are rotating back. You can't see my foot at this angle. Okay, and what I'm doing is I am taking this foot and pushing myself. So my mass isn't dropping in this case. Where we did the other two techniques, your backup mass was your mass dropping. Here, your mass is going back. So my hips are rotating and I'm taking my whole weight back. So if someone is standing behind me and I throw an elbow one, Two, okay, look at my hand. Starts this way, turns over here. When I do this, the muscle is not sticking out as much. Feel it, do it like this. Go put your hand this way, feel the muscle. Turn it over, you have more muscle there. So we do it, it turns. One, two, three, four, five. And on the other side, one, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to get a partner. If there's somebody else in your house who takes karate, you'd be doing this video with them, hopefully. If there's not somebody else in, this, in your house who does karate, go get them and get them to do this with you anyway. Ask somebody to hold a target. If you have um, focus pads, that works really well. If you don't, a small pillow, a folded up towel. Just if you're using a pillow or a towel, um, back off on the power because you can feel the knuckles and the elbows through the pillow or the towel. The towel. So, <clears throat> person is going to hold this way. Um, let me get a. Let me get something I can put in my hand. Okay, so this is a. Uh, it's a. It's a hot pad, but I can put my hand at this angle. So if you're doing the descending back fist, you're going to come down at this angle. If you're doing the knee. You're gonna hold the pad here. When you're doing the elbow, hold it out here. If you hold it here, you're gonna get elbowed. If you wanna get elbowed, that's okay, that's up to you, but I would not suggest it. Okay, so we practiced a descending back fist, we practiced a double low block, and we practiced a rear elbow. So I want you to get a partner now who has a target, and I want you to practice all of those, tar all of those techniques that we did with the target, okay? Feel where the power is coming from. Okay, so we're on forms. Um, we're not gonna do full forms today. If you wanna practice full forms, go back and check Monday's video. Do that one too, then you get credit for two classes this week. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna pull a couple of techniques out of each form and figure out where the backup mask comes in there. So we're gonna start off with basic form one. Okay, so you know where the rotation is in basic form one. I step back and as I come through Soko Chassis, there's the rotation. But also as I land my, my block, my strike, I set my weight. So I'm not going tall, short, but there is, I'm keeping my knees bent here. But as I land that strike, there's a little bit of down happening. So in, rotate, strike. Okay, so that's from basic form one, basic form two, pain on showdown. Do that, do it on both sides. Then from basic form three, and I want everybody to do these drills, even if this is not your form. Um, the fact that you're not learning the form doesn't mean you can't learn the techniques. I want to get the chair out of the way. I don't know why I didn't put that away after my last. Okay. Um, for basic form three. This is in basic form three. It's a ping on oidon, variations of it in a lot of forms. Somebody's starting to punch at my head. And I'm getting, what I'm doing here by pushing is getting my head out of the way. But if I go like this and I push, now I'm tilted. But if I go like this and I push, so as I push here, I'm bending this knee. I'm getting my head out of the way of what's coming at me. I'm keeping a straight line here, so I'm in balance. I'm not balanced here. And I'm dropping my weight. So my backup mass is aiding to that strike. So I'm gonna start here. I see the, the punch coming. I rotate here. I'm rotating my shoulder, my elbow, my wrist, and I'm settling my weight. So we'll do five on each side. One, two, three, four, five, and on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, remember these, because I'm gonna give you something to do with all of them at the end. Okay, let us do King on Sanan. Um, we're gonna start, we do this, this is very tight, really close to the drill we did in the warm-ups at the beginning of class from here. You do a front kick, step in. If you did Monday's class, we talked about after that re-chamber, dropping your weight and breaking somebody's knee with your weight. Then I'm gonna chamber here and drop my weight into a descending back fist. So my, my punch rotates, my kick rotates, my hips rotate. I re-chamber, land and break their knee, step in, drop my weight so my back fist is coming down on the bridge of their nose 
or their collarbone. Okay, so you don't have to do this. That's the way it is in the form, but you can do just the regular, just the kick if you want to too. So one, two, three, four, five, and then on the other side, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's from Hyang Sada, which is the advanced form. I want everybody doing these drills though, okay? Next one that we're gonna do, this is from Sitsu. I am actually going to, um, black belts, think about this chamber. If you know chill, if this doesn't make sense for you, if you're a gup and you know chill some ilro, do this. If you don't, just the backhand. Somebody's coming at me. They're trying to kick my leg. I'm gonna pick my leg up and get it out of the way. I'm gonna stomp on their knee, so there's my weight drop, and chop their neck. So I'm coming forward. Okay, if you're a and you can't get your hands around this, you don't have to. I'm getting my foot out of the way and taking the neck. And then we go back. The important, two important things here. Get your foot out of the way so that you're up to drop your weight and break the knee and then drop your weight here into the strike to the neck. And then one more from this. Um, I always like the interpretation here of blocking a hook punch to the head. Mr. Morell's interpretation of this is that somebody has grabbed you and you are turning and doing and breaking their wrist. So if you're going to turn and break their wrist, you have to drop your weight. So I'm going to start here, bring my hands to this hip, turn and settle my weight. So as they, they, they're here. I turn around their wrist, drop their weight, break their fingers. Okay, so my hands are gonna start on this hip and they're gonna rotate and drop. I'm putting them here, that's the way they are in the form. If you're just thinking from a self-defense point of view, you can just circle and drop. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now I want you to take all those techniques that we did. The low block, the center block, the kick with the descending back fist, the crane stance with the strike, and the rotation with the wrist break. And I want you to find somebody in your house and I want you to practice with them. Please don't break anything, particularly not their wrists, but I want you to practice with them and see how you generate the power. Okay, um, it'll six two day runs. We have four of them. I want, last week we talked about where the rotation was in each move that gave the power. This week, you're not going to forget about rotation because the transition, these are really about transitional stances and those transitional stances really are about rotation, but there's backup mass too. So il 6 2 day run number one, step back. I'm here. And as I rotate, I'm not going way up and down, but I settle my weight. So there's a little bit of drop in my hips as I settle kick, obviously rotate, but drop my weight as I settle. Drop my weight, spin, drag, spin, kick, here, no, nope, one more step, rotate, settle my weight. <clears throat> and anytime that you're settling your weight, that's where your backup mass is dropping. And you're not going, when you do your forms, you're not going, but there is, a little bit of settle in each move if you watch. And that's where the backup mass is coming in. For the most part, it's way more subtle than the rotation was. So il 6 2 day run number two. This one may take a minute because my, my feet never want to go in this direction. Block, settle your weight strike. Pull back. Think about two things with this kick. I'm going to kick. I'm going to re-chamber 
And as I land, I can stomp on their knee. So my weight coming back down adds backup mass to the strike. And then settle again as I strike here. Kick. Again, with the side kick. Kick. Re-chamber. Stomp on their knee as you land. Come back. High block. Spin. Side kick. Stomp on their knee. Double punch. Il six two day run number three. Step back. And if you look at my head here, just by the fact that I'm going from feet together to a feet apart stance, my head is going to drop. Okay, so I step back, block, back fist, spin, kick, block, punch, block, spin, hook kick, land back, drop my weight as I back fist, step back, I rotate a little bit here, so I've got rotation coming in, set my weight, kick, I'm lifting my foot, but I'm dropping my shoulder. If you've broken center blocks, it's that same motion. I'm dropping my shoulder, land. So I kick, I stomp on your knee, and I rotate and strike again. And then il 6 day run number four. Someone throws the punch, I step in. I settle, as my elbow comes up, my weight drops. I turn, like we did in the warm up here, my weight settling into the elbow, step. Round house kick. Stomp on the knee as you land. Block, punch. Two round house kicks. Stomp on the knee as you land. Elbow. Drop your weight. Cushion to the elbow. Step. Step back. Drop your weight. Settle as you block. Spin. Round house kick. You can stomp on the knee if you want to. Drop your weight. Cushion spear. So I want you to do all your one steps one more time. And just like I did all the words and then this time, I want you in every move to say where the backup mass and where the rotation is that gives you the power. Okay, single stick. And I know you're going, that's not a stick, it's a spoon. Right, it's a spoon. It's only about half as long as my stick, not even half as long as my stick. So if you're going, there's less chance of taking out the glass from the microwave or the strings from the van. So practicing blood cup, you start off with it in the right hand. You have, I put my left hand on the bottom of the stick, put my right hand above it, and I have a hand, a hand space underneath. I start here, blood cup, courtesy, step back. Make sure you cover your head. See how my head is covered? A lot of you guys are doing this. This is not head covered. This is head covered. Step forward, strike high, low, high. Orbit strike. Let the stick keep going in that direction. Make your foot follow it. Cover your head. Head's covered. It's not here. Step forward, strike down, switch hands. That's all we're gonna do right now, and then we're gonna do the other side, left hand. So, blood cup, courtesy. Stick is in my left hand. So left foot steps back, protect your head. Not here, it's here. Step forward, high, low, high. Orbit, strike, make the stick keep going in the same direction. Cover your head, step forward, strike down, switch it back to the right hand. Okay, I'm gonna do it with my back to you too, so that if, you, if it's easier for you to follow along with me that way, you can. <clears throat> so we start here, blood cup, courtesy, step back, protect your head. Step forward, high, low, high, orbit, strike, Orbit again. It's my, my right hand that's moving, my right foot moves. Cover your head, step forward, strike down, switch feet, come back to blood cup. Courtesy, stick is in my left hand. Left foot steps back, cover your head. Step forward, high, low, high. Orbit, strike. It's my left hand, it's going, it continues going that way, my left foot goes with it. Block, strike down. Switch hands and back to blood cup. So I want you to practice. I get a partner. Um, if you if you want to go outside or if you have a room in your house where you can use the screaming sticks, that's cool. Otherwise, use your spoon or your 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 
Use your use your pen. I don't care what you use. Just don't hit anybody and don't break stuff. Okay. Okay. Two six or two spoons or two I don't know two branches from your backyard or two pens whatever you need to have. Okay. So we're gonna start here on the top. I'll do it. So I'll do it once facing your mirror, and I'll do it with my back to you so you can follow along with me. So you're starting with them on your right. So you're going to one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And as I do that third strike, instead of bringing them back here, I'm going to bring them here so I can do bottom. One, two, three. 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 And now instead of bringing them here, I'm going to bring them back here so I can come back to top. So from here it goes right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, reset. So we can do the bottom side. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And bring it back to here. And if you thought that was hard, the hardest part of it was figuring out which right, left, which hand is going. I want you to practice that. Get somebody in your house to practice with. If there's nobody in your house who takes karate, teach it to them. The best way to learn something is to teach it to someone else. So if there's nobody, just start them with the one side. Even do it with empty hands instead of spoons. But teach somebody how to do it. That's your best way to learn it. Okay, bow. Or kitchen bow, as the case may be. We do the whole form. Start here, one. My weight dropped into this move. Two, rotation. Three, I'm gonna rotate my hip and settle my weight. One, I rotate, I settle my weight. Two, there's gravity is right here. One, I just gotta pull away and then drive my weight forward on that strike. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm going to come forward. I'm coming through a cat stance here and settling into a horse stance. So I'm not, I'm here. The cat stance is a transition. So I'm in the horse stance. One, drop my weight, drop my weight, rotate and drop my weight. Sorry, too many of those. Spin, obviously this one is rotation, and back up mass, you're dropping your weight. Up, as you come back, my, my hips are gonna drop. Pull it back out, turn, we talked about the weight here. Turn, drop your weight, settle into the stance. Foot's gonna come up. Somebody's trying to sweep my leg, get my foot out of the way. I'm going to use my weight as I block their strike to also stomp on their knee. Same thing on the other side. Wrap and unwind. Okay, practice that just like we did with your open hand forms. Think about actually saying the words for each move, where the power is coming from. Okay, last thing here for the black belts, fan form. We're gonna do all but the last couple of moves this week. We'll finish it next week, so you'll have the whole thing for graduation at the end of the cycle. Um, I'm gonna start here. I don't really have a wild, this is a long form sideways, and I probably don't have enough space, but I'll reset part way through. This is not in the form, this is just so I can reset. And this is the new part. My right foot is going to step toward the person I just hit as the fan drops. And then I'm going to come to a crane stance, left foot, and the fan is protecting my back. 
left hand is here. And we'll finish that next week.